Okay, gentlemen, welcome to hashtag Keep the Flame Alive. Uh, I have with me Robert Mustard Sheehan, David Ruben Sheehan, and Jacques Bay Sheehan. Happy New Year, gentlemen, and welcome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. All right, just to just to brief you guys, I interviewed eight eight Godans, uh, Rokunan, Nanadan. They're the next generation, and I asked them why we are where we are now where they want to go, and how do we get there. So I'm going to play you some of their feedback, but but please don't be constrained by their questions or their, their priorities. Tell me yours as well. Okay? So uh, yeah. firstly, like the Yoshinkan since Kyoto, Kyoto has become almost like a, a COVID moment. It's like a, a mark there, right? Mm-hmm. And, and a lot of people say since COVID, all the different groups have got together. But I also see since COVID, Dave, you've left, Rob, you've left, uh, Ando's left, Maury's left. So it's a big defining moment. Mm -hmm. Uh, Anyone care to talk about where we are now as the Yoshinkan family? Not just Yoshinkan Hombu Dojo, but Yoshinkan family. Dave, you want to go first? first? Uh, Okay, you go first, Rob. Uh, Uh, I, I think... Uh, I mean, we've talked about this a little bit. My leaving the Yoshinkan was purely selfish reasons on my part because they wouldn't allow me to give out my own certificates. And my students wanted a certificate from me. And I asked Ahambo, could I give both? Oh, hold on, Rob, Rob, hold on. I'm going to pull you yeah. back here. It's not yeah. about you or me or whatever. It's the state of Yoshinkan. Oh, okay, okay. Yoshinkan. All right, but, I mean, but what I'm getting at is, I mean, we've talked about this a little bit and I probably should have left a long time ago. I was just too lazy to write the letter. Uh, but I, I, I get what you're saying. And I think that the Kyoto seminar was a, a really big moment for me when I realized uh, the the Hombu, I'm not going to say Yoshinkan, the Hombu didn't care and they didn't send anyone. And I only know there was only one guy from the Hombu. Right. So it just showed me again. I mean, you know, Yoshinkan maybe isn't just a spot or a place or the Hombu or whatever. It's us. It's the, what we what we learned from the great teachers and our responsibility to kept pass it on. OK. And Dave, where, where are we it's now? Interesting, Joe, because I don't feel I've left the Yoshinkan. I left the Yoshinkai. I've, I've, I've left my connection with Hombu Dojo, but I have not left Yoshinkan Aikido. Yoshinkan Aikido is, is me. It's in my blood. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a but, good point. I so, so I, I've left the Yoshinkai. I, I, I haven't. I, I'm now no longer connected. But I, as, as Rob said, I haven't been connected to those people for pretty well thirty years. You know, I mean, in a way, since they came over on my tenth anniversary, and that was wonderful. But I've had no connection with 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 Yoshinkai. I've had no connection with the Mudojo. Um, and, and and the truth of the matter is, Joe. I don't think they're interested. I don't think they want to connect with us. I don't think they feel us that they're connected okay, to but us. I'm going to throw what I said to Rob to you, but that's fine, and I, you know, there's no issue with that. But the state of the state of the union now, the state okay. of the ocean guard now. That's fine. what I'm asking. Okay. Your opinion? I, I, I think it's like, like it's like in most most things. A third of the people are really good. A third of the people are really bad, and a third of people are pretty vanilla in the middle. I mean, there are excellent, excellent Aikido technicians out there, young Aiki, young Yoshinkan technicians out there. Good, good, good people, train properly, good spirit, good dojos. They they get it. They're sharp. They're 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 they're, they're clean. They do kihondosa. They I can take I take pride in them genuinely. And there is some pretty bad crap out there. And people, but people who call themselves Yoshinkan people. And I look at it and I go, my friend, that is not Yoshinkan. It's just not. It's not that I'm, I'm judging you, but that is not what is called Yoshinkan. But that's the, that's the nature of the beast, Joe, in, in anything well, you get. Yeah, if you can't judge, you can judge. Okay, Jacques, what about you? What do you think? Yes. Personally, I'm quite, I'm quite optimistic because I think, yes, what, what happened is always the past. Uh, I think now I like the idea of the fellowship. Because uh, we we know it's a great way for people to get together. So we 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 know what what people are doing. We can see the level of everybody, and also we know we have already planned for for the next two or three or four years. We we can we know that uh, we 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 plan for the next year. We we have event in North America. We'll have event in Oceania in, in Brisbane in. Uh, and after that, we have Malaysia planning. So 
almost every year there is a small uh, small event and every three or four years we have a big event like like Kyoto and and during this time well, I think we have just to to uh, to to make a because now it's a, it's kind of loose loose things. So we are starting to you know to make people to like a brain start something what we are doing now. And during this time, we have to try to work on a on a more structured um, organization with uh, us, for example, as a board, but also a, lo- uh, a kind of steering committee with all these people uh, Joe interviewed before, for example, and uh, and started to to do something. Uh, yeah, like uh, especially now it's easy to do with Zoom. For example, we can do a, a testing from up to set up a standard for for testing, and from fourth down or fifth down, uh, one uh, the main instructor maybe is here, and the other the, the, the board uh, do through so, through Zoom and things like that. And uh, we start we 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 can I think we can rebuild a kind of. Uh, uh, ideal uh, IYF or something like that. Okay, so uh, I I think like like everyone here agrees, right? We we passed it. We we did our time. We tried to change things when we were in the organization. Or Jacques is still there. Um, now it's left to the other people. But they're looking to us for vision mm-hmm. and for whatever they want to do. Some or other, they need our rubber stamp. I, I'm not being pompous when I say that, but they look to us for vision. They look to us for a rubber stamp. Now, unless we know where we stand, we don't know where we're going. So what are the problems we're facing in the Yoshinkan world? And let me say one more thing. There's a lot of martial arts styles, groups, whatever, that are having this problem. We're the only ones throwing it out in the open and discussing it. So I have a lot of friends in the martial arts world. And it's not just Yoshinkan people looking at us, other martial artists too. So we, we're doing good old world a service, maybe a disservice, I don't know. But, you know, there has to be transparency because the Yoshinkan Hombu Dojo lack transparency mm-hmm. in the last, since 2007. Things were going on. There was no explanation, no. And, and I think we owe that to the people coming up. That, that's my opinion. Then hence the questions. Yeah, but that's so, easy to do. It's easy to do because if you have if you have a a, a kind of board a, a board who was there who, like us, for that we could give our name or uh, support in this way, and you have a steering committee who really does the things concretely, make a, a, a setup of a rule or thing like that, and uh, make sure we. Uh, but but at the same time, it's is. Uh, I think what is great with, with that is that, for example, the three or four of us, we we agree on a certain level, but but we have a completely different style and different way of seeing things. But but I think that's that's a beauty of thing. You can't have just one one way. There's because there's different tastes and the, the base is the same, of course. But the, the approach and the way you see things, some are more softer, some are more some like more uh, uh, self defense. Uh, and we can express that, but um, but as long as as long as we we are on the same committee and we 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 set certain rules, and after that we are quite flexible. I think we I don't see why we can't do something very very interesting. Okay, so let let me just ask you this, and I asked the other guys this too, right? What makes Yoshinkan Yoshinkan? I'm not talking about the Hombu Dojo. I'm talking about the Yoshinkan family. What makes us who we are? What distinguishes us from other Budo, other Aikido? In my opinion, my yeah. opinion is the Kamai, the Kihon Dosa. And what I tell people all the time, you've heard me say it many times, Joe, and stuff. Uh, you know, Yoshinkan Aikido for me, it's a strong strike, strong block, strong attitude, and us. I think that's what kind of sets us apart. You know, and I think the big thing, like as, as Jacques was saying, uh, if people can see that us high-ranking guys, you know what I mean, if us high-ranking guys can sit together and, and and chat and support each other and say, yeah, I'd go, I'll go, I'll help him, you should go see him, you should go see that. If you're in the area, you should go see that. Because the, the truth is, one of the big problems is with a lot of these guys is, I mean, how many times 
if I had a dollar for every time I heard a Japanese Aikido teacher say martial arts are the, the way to world peace, and I'm thinking, what are you talking about? You guys can't even get together for three, sitting around having a coffee or having a fight. But if people can see that, we can work together and support each other and stuff. I think that that would be a big thing. So all those little things like Zong Shed, different way we do things and stuff like that. Uh, it's it's like I always thought a lot of the teachers were different until my Japanese got better. They say the same thing, they do it differently. And I think we have to be able to support that. Uh, but for me, Yoshinkan is the Kamai, the Kihon Dosa, strong strikes, strong blocks, and us. Dedicated, okay. mindful practice. Okay, Jacques? Yes, I think that's that's the way the base the, the base of Aikido. If you you can't you can't test anybody if he, if he, if he cannot do a norm, uh, good uh, kion dosa, and if he has a bad kamae, and if he doesn't uh, have the the, the the spirit when he does the, the technique, I think that's it. As long as he has that, after that, if the the, the, the approach of the technique is a little different by teacher, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah. Dave, what do you think? I'd just like to re rewind just a touch to when you were speaking with Jacques about, you know, how do we set up the organization, the structure? So I think there's Kihon, you know, Rob has spoke about the Kihon in our physical attitude. In terms of the organization, I think it's simple. I think it's relatively simple. And it's built on three things. It's built on integrity. We have to have, there has to be integrity. There has to be respect. And there has to be discipline. You know, Yoshinkan yeah. has a has a certain discipline to it, a personal discipline and an and 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 a, and a budo discipline, organizational discipline, dojo discipline. And I think that it has that has to be and, and there's a respect. And, and and then you have the integrity bit. And I think that if you see what well, okay, what is the role of let let's say the 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 the, the advisory the, the senior advisory group, whatever you want to call it, okay? But I think it's clear that, that is not about command and control. That is about support and adapt. It's about supporting. It is supportive. It says, you know, we are, and that's what Hombu Dojo never did. It never gave support. I think the fundamental question is, is there a desire amongst the global Yoshinkan community to see this happen? Because if, it, if there isn't, then, then we, we can't push this across to people. It has to be, there has to be a desire and we help support that. But I think to go back to what Jacques said, the, the Kyoto thing proved without any doubt that there is a, a vibrant, healthy Yoshinkan global community that desperately wants there to be a strong center, whatever that means. And you know, we've been discussing this for 30 years, that we want there to be a strong Hombu. We want there to be a strong center. Hombu has walked away from that. Yoshinkan has walked away from that. That's fine. And... There's, there's a rhythm to these things. We are the people now. You know, we are the Inuits and the Takanos and the Cheetahs of this generation. That that we have to take that responsibility. And if we don't, then who will? Then we will be abrogating our responsibility to Yoshinkan Aikido. But I think that the, the question is: Is there a desire amongst the global community for this to happen? And if there is, and I think I think there is, and I think that we can articulate it in a way and formulate it in a way that will get the support of the global community. Then I think it's a relatively smooth path forward. A lot of these times, these things seem very, very difficult because you take the wrong approach, you take the right approach, and suddenly it becomes, well, in Japanese, naruhodo, you know, <laughs> obviously, of course, naruhodo, you know, of course, of course, yeah. you do that. And so, okay. and so I, I think that if we get it right and that there is a desire amongst the global community, I don't see this as a particularly hard program. I think it's quite smooth. Yeah, just yeah. gonna, I should have started with this question and a yes or no, okay? A yes or no. Dave first. Do you want to head up an international Yoshinkan Aikido organization? Yes or no? No. no. Rob? But I'm, I'm prepared to support oh, you. Hold on, hold on. Yes or no? Rob? No. Jacques? Yes, if if uh, if they support, yes. Okay, my part, no. So Jacques, you're it. Now <laughs> but the re the reason I'm asking is that none of us want to jump up and say, "Yeah, I want to be king." Exactly, but but, but but that that's not a, that's not a problem because you could like uh, you can you I think. For example, um, Dev has, uh, I think, the experience with building uh, organizations here. Yeah, that it's very easy to make a to make a, a system, a democratic system, where you can't have a, que a, a king or thing. It's just uh, democratic things, and it could be also uh, uh, rotation things. Every two years, for example, the the the, the kaicho is changing or something like that. Yeah. I don't see, and especially I don't see. For example, I'm sure for example, four of, of us 
I don't see any, ma any major problem with that. I don't see somebody no, who would exactly. like to, to be at the top. You know, yeah. if, if if you want, if Rob want to be at the top, go go ahead. I'm, I'm very happy to that. If Joe, you want to do that, I'm okay too. It's not. A, I don't see a, a problem with that. I see. Uh, for me, it's very easy. For example, uh, just follow the 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 fellowship system. Okay, make make event so that people have the opportunity to share things uh, and uh, you know and improve and 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 share things. For uh, in, uh, on a, on a, on a, I'll say on a, on a small base every year and a bigger things every three or four years, and after that the the, the organization for that because what what we need our organization is just maybe instead of uh, having a certificate signed by somebody nobody knows but a, a certificate signed for example for the three or four of us for example or something like that. And uh, and after that is a money problem. Money problem is very easy to 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 solve because that could be only for the for the international things. So the domestic things, you, everybody keeps their own thing. For the international things, for example, uh, if you grade your 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 own student, if if you have your your dojo overseas and you, tr you t test your student, you can only just maybe I don't know give a. a, a ten of uh, a, a small percentage for the administration fee. For issuing the the, the 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 certificate, and the rest you can keep for you, and uh, for your organization, and uh, so in a way that money doesn't go uh, doesn't go between the things, and and but it's just it's just a way to get somebody competent to to make a, a sustainable organization, and that's very easy to do. Okay. So, I, I think that's brilliant. But let me throw something at you, right? Why should yes. the bigger organization subsidize the smaller ones? Especially if you don't like the teacher in the smaller organization. And let, let's face it, you know, so Chira Sensei, Ando Sensei have the bigger organizations. Why should they subsidize the smaller ones? But the thing about it is, Joe, I mean, and again, this is maybe, maybe it's off now. But, you know, you, you, you asked me, we, we discussed this in another interview, when when do they allow us to leave? We have to make a stand. We have, you know, we, we are now that, we're, we're now that generation that if if not up, uh, because nobody else is going to do it. Yeah. Nobody else is even going to have a conversation. And it's, it's not going to come. This, this, this global movement is not going to come out of Tokyo or, or anywhere else. It's going to come out of us. We, and we have to have the confidence to say, we, we, you know, we are, we are, we are the, the, the generation of, we are the Yoshikan Shihan who've been around for 40 years. The, and it's our, the, it's our responsibility. My from from my from my experience, right, watching different martial arts groups, somehow the the more they they leave the center and the physical center being Japan, the more weird their martial arts got. Agree, but that's why I that's why we have to do it properly. So now we do that, but we do it properly. That's it. So we we the question is, Joe. The question is, are we good enough? Are we good enough? Is is the no. vision strong enough? Is the capability no. strong enough? I'm very, I, I would be I would problem. be very happy to have to, to have a center in, in Kyoto. Yeah, to keep it look, in Japan. That, that's fine. To keep it in I, Japan. I wouldn't. I I'm not worried about are we good enough. My question to myself: Do I want to? Uh, and, and the no, same no, for no, 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 sure what you're asking, Joe. Are you are you saying we should, there should be a Japanese at the top of it? I mean, what are you? No, saying? I'm saying there should be a connection. Yeah, the connection connections should couldn't uh, should, should be through the event. For example, like we done in Kyoto, we continue to do that to invite them to the event and things like that. But on the organization side, I think it's impossible to 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 include everybody. Okay, all right, all right. Let, let's leave it there. Yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. Just in case okay. I have to cut some more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, <laughs> yes. okay. So the other thing they wanted to talk about was more collaboration. I think we covered that. We covered more collaboration, right? Um, what do you want to see promoted? Like, okay, Dave, you you talked a lot about the Koganai days and stuff like that, right? Different time, different era. But what from that era missing would you like to see? Brought back on or, or re re-emphasized if possible. I, I think it's just, I, th I think it's there. I think it's just churning it up from. It's it's it's, it's simmered down 
so you know the, the flames have simmered down i think it's still there i just i just basically it's it's as as everybody said rob said zuck said you know he said it's it's just good strong training there is nothing else there is a dojo and there's a training if we don't get that right then there's nothing nothing else and it is basically you walk into dojo and you say as robert says we have us and and you walk in and, and as as you know i've said it before it's not just a training it's a spirit you walk into a yoshinkan dojo you should know you're in a Yoshinkan dojo. You know, there's something, it is a Yoshinkan dojo. It's not, it's not, those, the other side's not wrong, but that's the way we do it. And I think we're very close. I don't think there's, I don't think we're far away from that. And again, within that, as Jacques said, everybody can do their own thing in their own way. But as long as you have that golden thread, as long as you have that basic, fundamental, simple framework, but this is a Yoshinkan dojo, my friend. And that's what we do. And this is how we do it because we are part of that legacy from Shoda Sensei. Then I think everything else is open to you. You know, as he said, you know, you know, you look, you look at Gadi doing his stuff. You know, in 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 Israel, he's he's doing he's doing his stuff way outside Yoshinkan, but it's still a Yoshinkan dojo. You know, okay. it's still it's still and what that, he does. What do you think? I think our role is not to try to go back go back to the past. I think our role is to how to say is to is to give hope. It's just to. Uh, to show what is possible, you know, to show a kind of ideal, the best Aikido we can do, and and pull people well up, well on, uh, pull pull up the, the people. But I don't see, I don't, I don't see why the level should be. Uh, I'm sure, yes, you, you need to to have a a basic uh, understanding of the, of the basic technique and movement and the spirit. But you you should today's today's world. People just just want to do that for many reasons. So I think we have to be inclusive too. We don't need to have them to to be just strong Aikido as long as they are, they are good people and they do their best. That's enough for me too. Uh, what what we want to do is to be uh, yes, uh, hope of course, some young guys who really want to 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 uh, to become instructor and to 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 really love aikido and to do to do things so that's i think that we have to be this kind of influence of them this but and um, and 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 that's why i I'm, I'm quite confident and optimistic that if we do like things like the fellowship where you you just create events like that where people can see each other and see different level i think we can um, how to say we can uh with some things that people want to do more, want to study more, want to to find well, really what what is Yoshinkan, what is what I, Yoshinkan can be at a very high level. I'm, okay. I'm quite optimistic on that. All right, let me come back to you on that. And Rob, pretty simple. Don't move your front foot when you pivot. Don't look down. Keep your back leg straight. And then within those parameters, uh, yeah, I mean that's a little bit. That's kind of the problem. I mean. You know, there were, I've been to seminars where I look on the mat, there's 50 people and 49 are rubbish. And the higher the <laughs> rank, the worse they are. But, but the truth is, going back to what Jacques said, this stuff is supposed to enhance your life. We all can't be like Uchideshi or this or that or whatever. Uh, I think if they're trying hard and they're sincere, maybe that's enough. I yelled at a couple people in Kyoto where I felt bad after I yelled at them. Uh, not when I was there, but afterwards. And I've called them and said, I'm sorry, I was maybe a bit out of line, but I really like your Shinkan Aikido and the way you were practicing. I don't think it was conducive to getting better and you were being condescending and shitty to people. And that really annoyed me. Sorry. So and they were they were fine with that. Okay. So here's the thing, right? I spoke to someone who's in the military, also a martial artist. I talked about uh, what makes a good dojo, what makes a good uh, higher level person, okay? He said four things. Martial skills, which is what we teach, right? Yes. Leadership skills. Instructorship, knowing how to pass on, if not to a class, at least mentoring someone. And culture. Mm -hmm. How many people who come into our dojo don't know the name Takeno? That's part of the culture. Is it something that, I mean, I, I got people that come to my dojo that don't even know what Shudokan means. They don't even know what Yoshinkan means. So is that my fault? Yes. Is, is that the culture that we, yeah, thank you, Dave. No, you're right. It is my fault. No, it, it is. It's mm -hmm. absolutely. No, I don't think you, so. Not, not, you, not, you walk no, into the no, dojo, no, 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 sorry, it is, it is. Because you walk into the dojo and there's bad attitude or bad spirit 
or, no, or no, teachers? Sorry, Dave, one second. I, we're yeah. so focused on Kamai and not pivot, moving your front leg when you pivot and all that bullshit. We forget to educate them into the culture of the dojo. I don't mean just names, but the culture of the dojo. So people don't walk in and go, hey, Jacques, how are you? They have to know mm -hmm. the culture of the dojo. They go, sensei, how are you? Yeah, but, but that's, that's, I that mean, is the teacher's fault. That is the teacher's fault. The, well, teacher's fault. Well, the thing about, it is, right the thing about it is, Joe, Joe, the thing about it is, is we have that within us because of what we lived through. Somebody being brought up in, in Vancouver or in Venezuela or somewhere else with a teacher who trained with somebody who, trained, who trained with somebody, you can't expect them to have the same understanding. But I agree with you. And that's the thing that... I'm, I'm talking about myself, Dave. I'm talking okay, about fine. myself. That's fine. Yeah. But... but you know, you, you say that I'm, I talk a lot about, you know, Kogane Dojo, and I do. I, I don't, I'm not trying to recreate the Kogane Dojo. I don't think that's, you know, that that's not necessary. There is this thing, this thing with integrity called Yoshinkan. But absolutely, if you don't like the dojo, then you look at the teacher. You look, you know, that, that's the way it goes. And I think that's, and that's part of responsibility. And I think also, if we are going to bring this organization up in such a way that it can, Create the foundation and structure that will support. You know, will Yoshin come be here in thirty years? Really, I think that very, very much depends on how this conversation goes right now. This conversation with the four of us, I think this will have an impact on if there's Yoshin come around in thirty years and certainly in ten years. Okay. And therefore, I think that we have to make sure that we are able to allow people to come and train Yoshin Kan Aikido in the way they wish. But we need to make sure that the teachers, the senseis understand what a Yoshi consensus is because Sorry, that Jack. is a critical piece. Your turn, Sorry. yeah. 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 But so I think I think that's also that's why we need to get to to make this kind of event. But for example, like like the thing in Kyoto, for example, many people from your student, for example, came with you. So I'm sure that influenced people. They saw how the how your student uh, react, uh, interact with you, and uh, yeah, that, and I think we can teach them also by example, because you can. I'm sure you, you can teach them the culture for that. if you, I'm sure if you explain something, people who I'm not sure they will listen to you, but if they show, they see how your student act, how the how the the. Um, uh, uh, the senpai acting by ex by uh, example, I think that would that would also change things. So I think the only thing we have to do is to yes to 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 uh, try to do our best in our dojo and try to influence people like that. So, Rob, yeah, I agree. Uh, the thing is, what I tell people, and this is, you know, I mean, you're right, Joe, we have to, we have a history and we, have, you know, you're, we're not just who we are, we're a product of all our teachers and stuff also. Uh, I always tell people, Yoshinkai Aikido is an attitude just as much as it is a set, set of techniques, and we do that uh, right in our dojo, and you guys have dojo, so you know it's almost better if one of your black belts corrects a beginner, instead, you know, or, or I do it or they reinforce it. You know, we have a new student now who's a did Aikikai in uh, Bolivia. And she's not used to the Yoshiko way. She just walks right in the dojo, doesn't say hi to him, and just goes in the change room. And then I told her, this is how we usually read in Japanese. It's called Aisatsu. And then she, the next time she came in, she just walked in, and one of my black belts said, this is how we do it in this dojo. If you see the doors open, you greet the teacher. And that's just, I think, you know, and that that's the part of the personality. And I agree with Dave. We don't want to recreate uh, kind of things that some of the things we went through, but getting back to what Jacques said too, you guys were all the same. You guys did all the Kenshu classes. I mean, I'm going to bet a million dollars that all all three of you hated the evening classes because I did, but they they were the people that let the dojo to continue. Uh, but maybe they should never be responsible for showing someone kamai. That's part of the bit of the responsibility we have to do. Okay, all right. So let me. We're going to wind up soon, right? Now, yeah. do you think we're caught in the in the confines of Kihon Dosa, Kihon Waza? I, I remember when I started, you know, Kushira Sensei was the head of the Hombu Dojo, and the techniques that were being taught were like this. There were a lot of different techniques. Uh, Rob, I'm not talking about the half, half pike, three-quarter turn, that sort of stuff, yeah. but yeah. different techniques, you know, and now it's not. It's just gone narrower and narrower and narrower. 
And are we confined by that? Are we losing students because of that? Good David? point. Maybe. Maybe. Go, David. No, I, no I, I, th I don't think so. I think, I think that if I look at the, the really successful dojos, whether it's in Goju, Shotokan, whatever it might be, the, 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 tr the traditional dojos, the kendo, they're the hard ones. The ones that are successful are the ones that really understand who they are. They know who they are. They have absolute confidence in who they are. The ones that, that, that try and do a bit of this and a bit of that and a bit of the, the other, the, the, then, the, then they, they lose their identity. I, I agree with you. I think that if you go to, you know, when, when last time I went to Hobby Dojo, there are people doing exactly the same thing for 30 years and never moving on. I think naturally we have, I think we've all got much wider syllabuses than we would have had, you know, 20 years ago. But I think you, you should, again, I go back, we're not confined by, by Kihon. Kihon is not basic. Kihon is fundamental. It's not basic. It's fundamental. And the more you do, it's just like music. You can't go to, uh, you can't go to a musician and say, do you think scales are no good to you? A good musician understands their fundamentals. And I personally think that the stronger the fundamentals, the stronger the structure will build on it. And, and well, after that, you have the freedom to do a whole load of stuff around that. But make the fundamental, the, one, the dojos that are not doing well is because the fundamentals are weak. Rob? I think my fundamentals are pretty good and my dojo is just hanging by his fingernails. Right, yeah. and then we know we know we know other people that are doing rubbish, and they've got hundreds of people. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm just too good looking. I don't know to be a good mission kind of your teacher. Advertising, I don't know. <laughs> advertising. Advertising. Those. Yeah. 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 Okay. What do you think? Uh, well, um, I would not. Uh, I don't know. I think it's it's really depend on the personality of the teacher. That it because I don't advertise much. Uh, I have only my website, and I don't. I, these days, I, I try to get away from uh, from the uh, internet and things like that. And I don't. Um, and um, I teach very basic things, and I have no problem to to uh, you know to track students, and uh, I think they are happy with what I, I teach. And I think it's really the, the how you, you 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 approach the technique for them. But I think I think there is uh, sometimes I do seminar. I will do only only Kihon dosa, but put it in a way that it could be very entertaining, mm -hmm. and so that people have fun doing Taino Kihon dosa, and they, and they learn something from that. And it's easy after that to apply that to a technique. And uh, so it's. I think it's really deep, and how we, we it's 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 the instructor. What what uh, what the, he thinks about that. I don't. I don't think we need to do to make a rules. For example, to attract more people, you need to do uh, weapons, or to need to do self defense, or you need to do uh, that to attract. I think you know personally. I, I'm. I'm. I don't. I do only the basic, and I try to just do it. Yes, a little more, more interesting. And uh, I I don't my I don't plan to do to change that. Okay, can you teach me how to have fun doing Kiondosa? Because I never have. Okay, um, I will text next time. All I, can, <laughs> all I remember is Takano Sensei hitting me and saying going lower, lower. So, I, guys, yes. here, here's a comment. Okay, you can comment on it if you want, whatever you don't want to. Uh, looking back in the '90s, in the 2000s, people used to seek me out because one of my name. Two, because of Yoshinkan Aikido. Mm -hmm. It would come knowing Yoshinkan Aikido. And those people who did were people who did other martial arts. I don't get mm -hmm. that anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't get that anymore. I don't get people from other martial arts wanting to do Aikido. Is that because the Yoshinkan name is tarnished? Because the Aikido name is tarnished? No, I think it's because traditional martial arts are kind of just going through it. It's all MMA now and BJJ. Yes, yes. The, you know. I, I I had I had Joe I had lots of teachers from other dojos, from other styles coming to, to the to, to, to the Maidor Khan. We really we really did. They loved it. And, the, and the, because of, again, because they recognize the value of that absolute discipline and focus. And that hasn't happened. You're right, it just doesn't happen anymore. It's just I, I think I think it's right with Rob. I think I think sort of the MMAs have come in now, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has come in. That's fine. We we'll, we will it's a bit like the Catholic Church, you know, if we stand for two thousand years, we will be we will still be there. The, we stay, we, we keep strong, the world will turn and come back to us. I believe that. 
I ain't yeah, got two thousand years there. But but I think I think it's, 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 if I can say I think it's wonderful because uh, you know it's diversity. We do, we do the same we have the same thing, but we all sing different things and we want to do different things. And it's good for people to see to see what can be done and they, they, they choose from that. I think. They, as, I as, long, as long as we are very honest and we do our best and we really improve, that's fine. Dave, I, I know what you said is tongue in cheek, but I don't have the donations of the Catholic Church, and I ain't got <laughs> two thousand years. A Rob does; he's almost there. But you know. okay, guys. <laughs> last two questions. Last two questions, right? In your heart of hearts, what do you wish for the Yoshinkan family? Second last question. Uh, I think. What I would like to see in the Yoshinkan family is what I saw in the fellowship se seminar in Kyoto, where we all got different teachers, different people, and more, more often than not, 98% of the time, we all got together, and there were see, people were seeing a mutual respect. You know, and never mind, you know, when the speeches, I was quite pleased when a lot of people said, you know, thanks to Jacques and his students, because most people don't do that. Most people just think you expect that it's supposed to be done that way. And if, if it hadn't been for Jacques and his students, and, and John, John did a lot of stuff too, and Alan did a lot of stuff too, it hadn't been for those people working hard, it wouldn't have happened. I was lucky. I just got to show up and drink beer and teach. You know, and I didn't have eel, and I didn't have... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oi, oi, oi. What was the question? <laughs> in your heart of hearts, what do you want to see in the Ocean Guy Kido? And you're talking about uh, eels. No, because I didn't get EO. I wanted to have EO and I couldn't have EO. That's because I was too busy doing other stuff. But I would like to see that respect, that respect for each other's and each other's dojos and people. That's that's what I think Yoshinkan should How be. How did you just say that? Jesus. Dave, well, I, wanted to, I wanted to complain that I didn't have EO or, or Yakiniko. All I had was bentos and stuff. They were very <laughs> nice bentos, but it's okay. <laughs> In your heart of hearts, what would you like to see for the Yoshinkan family? I would like to see what was done in Kyoto maintained and sustained and used as a basis for the next the next stage of Yoshinkan development. Everything develops, everything changes, everything mutates and moves forward, as Jacques, Jacques said. But I think that what Kyoto proved was it's it's pos not only is it possible, but people want it and they'll support it. So my 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 hope for the Yoshinkan family is we take what happened in Kyoto. Which was which is a once in a generation thing. The last time we had that was thirty years ago in ninety one in, in Toronto, and that, that and that we use that, we utilize that, and we we build from it. Yeah. Yes, I I would like to to okay to keep to the word of Aikido. Aikido is supposed to be harmony, so I think the there's many other martial arts. Of course, they fight each other, but. I think that especially in the Aikido world, people just have their ego and they, they don't want to be on the same mat together and they want to be at the top. They think they are the best. So I think that if we can uh, trust each other and work together and 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 show that uh, we just love Aikido and that we do our best to 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 to, to really to um, uh, to give back to what we've 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 Heard from uh, we has been given from uh, Shoda Sensei, and we can keep that, uh, keep that standard, and just uh, work together instead of fighting each other. I think that that's what I would like to see in the in the year to come. Yeah, I I, I got in, accused of being and rightly so of being negative by one of the previous in one of the previous interviews because <laughs> I pointed out what was wrong in Kyoto, mm -hmm. but people, everyone listening. The guys I'm talking to now never got better by talking about what they did right. They worked on what they did wrong. And I think in Kyoto, if you want to use it as a milestone, we need to look at what we did wrong as a group. We're never going to get better by patting ourselves saying we did this right. What we did wrong was the senior teachers having bad etiquette. People who taught me were teaching and other people who I thought or below me were trying to teach as well on the map. People who taught me were teaching and people below my level were sitting with their legs splayed out. Uh, you know, eating, drinking before your teacher, 
little things. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about other things. For me, this needs to change. This is the culture of the ocean kind. And you're, you're right. Everyone can do Aikido. You don't have to be rough and tough. But everyone can have manners. Everyone can have etiquette. And Dave, you said being in uh, an Uchideshi is knowing how to live your life. And for me, that's what Yoshin Kanekiro has taught me, knowing how to live my life. And if anything, but, that's what I want to see. But those those people who did those things, they weren't trying to do bad things. They did not know. They had not been taught properly. They had not been taught properly. Well, eyes wide open, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Last question, gentlemen. If you want to share your New Year's resolution for yourself or the Yoshinkan family. Oh, Rob, Jesus Christ. Dave, you better go first. Rob's thinking. I can hear it. Click, click, <laughs> click. <laughs> my, my, my first one is to lose 10 kilos. That's my first my first thing. Because, you know, we talk about doing this, but the, the, year, the years pass and it adds on. I, I think, I think just, I, I think, listen, the world is a tough place. Guys, we all know that. Everybody, everybody listening to this knows the world is a tough place right now. And for me, if I look at, you know, if I, I've been married. I've been in, back in the UK with the maid account for 32 years. And there have been tough, tough, tough times in my life, in my family life, personal life, professional life. And the dojo has always been a place of, 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 of safety for me. And it's been, it's been somewhere where I, could, I can forget everything else and I know where I am. And I trust it. And I hope that everybody has that. I hope for everybody, their, their, their Yoshinkan Dojo, wherever it is in the world, is a place of safety. And, 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 and where, they, where, they can, where they can consciously decide what they wish to do and who they wish to be. That's a very rare thing to have that opportunity of clarity. And I think that's what that's for me. I, I, that's just brought something to my life. And I hope that everybody in the, in, listening to this around the world, for them, their dojo is that to them. Jacques? Yes, I would. I hope that this year I can be uh, as simple as possible because I think simple in the sense that uh, it's I'm just not. I think it's it's pretty much time for me to understand uh, on a simple basis what is uh, all the concept of Yoshinkan, which is uh, the center line, the hip power, and all these things, who, the key or whatever. I mean, that's for me. It should be something very simple and that you can really feel and explain very simply. And uh, I I think if I can work on that this year, that'd be nice. Lose the pink jumper if you want to be simple. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I I do what I call kind of the man in the mirror check. When I look in the mirror, for me, it's do I try my best for my family, for Yoshinkan Aikido, for my students, for people who come in contact with me, people I know, the Yoshinkan world. I'm not going to say the planet because I don't really know that much about it, but I still... I still try my best for all those things. And that's my resolution also. And if I lose two pounds or three pounds, that'd be better. So, yeah. If that mine, helps. mine is to try not to be a hypocrite. And I'm not being humble, but that's that's what I want to try to do. You're not a hypocrite at all, Joe. I, I am. I am. We all are. Oh, less of a hypocrite, put it that way. And also to, to correct the little things, the little mistakes that I make. You know, um, Slouching on the mats, standing straight, not standing up with my hands here. Those little things. That's what I want to fix this year. So, gentlemen, thank you very much. It's been thank you. Uh, illuminating. We haven't agreed on everything, uh, but that's what people want to hear. And, you know, people are waiting for us to get together and move forward. What I saw, I started a group with the eight, uh, six dance, summer dance and stuff. And immediately there was very casual banter between them. And I think mm-hmm. that's a good sign. And that's a brilliant sign. And the four of us can sit down and, and talk, agree, disagree, or be indifferent. We're still yes. friends at the end of the day. Exactly. And, you know, I think that's, that's a good message for the Aikido world. That's Thank you, wonderful. gentlemen. Thank it's been you. a pleasure. Happy New Thank Year. You. I look Happy, forward Happy to New Year. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. Bye. Yeah. All the best. All right. Oz. All the best. Thank you. Oz. 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 Bye. Bye.